Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Shadows Over Loathing. If you remember West of Loathing, this is the sequel to that game, and there was another sequel that West of Loathing is a sequel to another game, with Loathing in the title that I can't exactly remember what it was. Like, it's... Spittoon. It's a spittoon. That should ring enough bells. If you don't know West of Loathing, you, you should know Spittoon. Oh no, this is a spittoon! Right? Tell me that you know Spittoon. <gasps> a spittoon! Please tell me you understand what spittoon means. It's another spittoon! I don't think there's going to be any spittoons in this game, but it should prove to be just as fun an adventure as West of Loathing was, which was a very fun adventure. Oh, I'm in the game. Hello. <laughs> you can't see anything interesting in that direction. Actually, you can't see anything at all with this magazine stuck to your face. Oh, I suppose I do. Well. <laughs> God, I shouldn't. I shouldn't give it the benefit of the doubt with the laughing this early, because I feel like there should be more. You hear the sounds of a diner behind you. Maybe someone there can help you with your little magazine on the face problem. Or I could give up. Oh, I guess... What was I really expecting? <laughs> oh, fascinating. Alright, I guess I gotta go in the diner. Hello? This smells like a diner, and it smells like they're open. Hopefully they have a no shirt, no shoes magazine stuck to your face, no service sign posted. Hopefully they don't. Oh, they might just... The Nightingale welcomes all travelers. Hi! Try coffee, you'll like it eventually. Restroom? Someone tells me I shouldn't go to the restroom. It's the bathroom, probably? You blunder your way into the bathroom and eventually find the sink. After fumbling with the faucet for a while, you manage to disentangle yourself from the magazine. You stare into the mirror, revealing... Wow, was I right? How was I... Oh! My... Oh! Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, no! Nope, I'm basic. If you know me, you know that I don't really customize in games, and I don't feel the need to here. This face got me through all of West of Loathing, and it got me through comfortably, with the confidence of everyone looking at my face and understanding who I was. So I'm gonna go baby-faced and fresh-faced. There I am. Oh sweet, I got meat. And I got bag. And I got cogwheel. Grady the Wren, each round of combat increase your muscle mystical or moxie by one. Everything you own is in a trunk, including your portable carpet steamer. Unpacking into diner seems like a bad idea. What if I want to anyway? Fine. Some RPG this is, I don't even have choices. A couple of older folks are having an animated discussion while well, one of them is. Mind if I eavesdrop? Uh, the way these young women act these days with their short hair and their sassy talk and their dresses that don't even cover their... Their ankles? It's scandalous, and those dances they do, flailing around like I don't know what. I'd have thought Prohibition would have put the kibosh on that sort of tomfoolery, no sir. But no sir. Can't imagine dancing a waltz to the music they're playing nowadays, though. And that's the problem right there. This newfangled jazz music with all the drums and, and clarinets and such. What kind of word is that anyway? Jazz. I think our cups got switched. You're supposed to be drinking decaf. Yeah, I suppose so. Some petty vandal has scratched the name Dan Bob into the surface of this table. Interesting. This man is concentrating very hard on his coffee. Hey there, is there something particularly interesting about that cup of coffee? It's my first one. Of the day? No, it's my first coffee ever. Oh, what do you think? I think it's a bad beverage. It's bitter and it makes my stomach hurt. Ah, uh, well, it's not for everybody, I suppose. Yeah. I think I'll have another one of this, uh, after this, though. And then maybe every morning for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, that is how it be. Well, enjoy! Hi. I'm Ethel. I'm... <laughs> I'm Kenberto. I'm Leonard. I'm Nathaniel. Um... As much as I would love to be Kenberto, which is a great name, I guess I'll... I'm Mark. God, it seems so boring. Why couldn't I have been named Kenberto? Kenberto. 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 I'm Mark. Mark who? Mark Collins Cooper Thomes. Mark Thomes. Ah, uh, no. That's dumb. Eplier. Pleased to be you, Mark Eplier. Can what can I get you? Um Does the bus to Ocean City pick up here? I get coffee. Sure, best cup of coffee in the state, if I say so myself. That'll be one meat. Oh, I forgot meat was the currency. I forgot about that. Much like orc with teeth. I'm broke. Uh, just a bus to pick up. Sure does, should be here any minute. Good thing too, I hear we're in for rain tonight. What takes you to Ocean City? My uncle lives there. I got a letter from him. He wants me to help him with something. That's a reason, huh? But it's somebody else's reason. What's your reason? Ethel locks eyes with you. Uh, God. Well, uh, 
I said, well, my, well, mind your own business, Ethel. You got perk guarded. Oh, your hard exterior conceals what I can only assume is an even harder interior. Oh, iron within, iron without, am I right? Of course, hon. Where are my manners? I'm sorry to pry. My curiosity just got the best of me. Frown and walk away. <laughs> I'm frowning. Can't you tell? Can't you tell everybody over here? A couple of young women are chatting breezily over coffee. Hey, Mac, what's this? What town is this? Poughkeepsie? Poughkeepsie! Are you two traveling? Yeah, Ocean City's turning into a real sawmill, so we boosted her jelly beans breezer for a weekend roll to the hot potato. Oh, Bushwell, you make it sound like we went south with it. I flew him a kite. Everything's Jake. What? <laughs> what? Geez, I'm pretty sure I'm only three or four years older than you two, but I barely understand what you're saying. What are you? Cancelled stamp? Go put some pepper in your shoes! <laughs> okay, I'll try that! Okay, I got new. What do I have new? Ah, I'm guarded. Which I find to be pretty good. I forgot that I have to do some sort of combat eventually. Oh, they got one of these new meat-operated multi-selection photographs. Or jukeboxes, as the kids call them. Neat. Hey, there's something in the coin return. <gasps> coffee! <laughs> coffee! Hello. Can I get a cup of coffee? One meat, please. Ah. Ethel pours you a steaming hot cup of fresh black java. Okay, good. Anything else? Nope. I'm good, thank you. What do I do with it? Do I drink it? Good grief, this coffee smells good. You can't bring yourself to drink it because you really need- You might really need some coffee later. I guess I might really need some coffee later. Prologue! Okay, cool. I'm down for prologue. That is some thick black rain outside. Did I just thrust that into existence? I guess it's not the only thing that's been thrusted into existence. Pretty much all of us were. You pull out the letter you got from Uncle Murray and read it. Murray Morris. Murray's Antiques. Dear Mark, I hope this letter finds you well. And I hope it finds you quickly. Something serious has happened. And I need your help. I need the help of your adventuresome spirit. Come to my shop in Ocean City as soon as you're able to. Your Uncle Murray. Thanks. I'm sleeping and there's a clown. I hope that's a clown. I really hope that's a clown. You're just about to go mad from the monotony of this ride when the bus suddenly judders to a stop. You look out the window expecting to see sights and sounds of Ocean City, but instead you see an endless expanse of extremely wet trees. Uh-oh. 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 Drink red cola. Gola? Probably should ask- you should- probably you should ask the bus driver what's going on instead of just wandering off aimlessly into the night. I don't know! Why would drinking red cola protect my family? Is that a thinly veiled threat? I like thinly veiled threats. I did enforce a policy recently, you may not have heard of it, but all comments and chat in my channel must be made in the form of a thinly veiled threat. So, get to that in the comments. What's going on? This doesn't look like Ocean City. Nope, sorry about this, but we're out of gas. Oh, geez, didn't you fill up? I filled up the bus, but this tri trip takes exactly one full tank of gas. Plus one additional can. Okay. Sure, why do I have to go get it? Well, I go myself set for two reasons. Those being, firstly, being as I'm the bus driver, I'm legally responsible for this bus and I gotta keep an eye on it. And secondly, because of my leg. What's wrong with your leg? It's attached to a fellow that doesn't want to go wandering around in the rain at night. I'm sure you can come up with some thin, thinly veiled threats. Well. It shouldn't take me this long to come up with a thinly veiled threat. I, now the pressure's on. It better be good if I had all this time to think about it. Well, you you bet you better you better hope your other leg doesn't cause you prop. My legs are attached to someone that's gonna beat the shit out of you. Got him, huh? Well, all right then. Guess I haven't got much of a choice. Can I borrow your umbrella? It's a left-handed umbrella. Shit, <laughs> I'm not left-handed. <laughs> Nuts. Sorry about that. Here, I do have a right-handed flashlight. You can use a good look. God, I wish I was left-handed. Oh, man. Why is it gotta be like this? Why is it gotta be like this? Coffee? Oh, I might really need it later. All right. Goodbye. You wouldn't make a dog walk six miles in this rain, no matter how bad it wanted to. Well, I'm not a dog. What this bus lacks in comfort, it makes up for an unreliability. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> oh! 
All right, now with extra lead, dude, you're telling me. Oh, hell yeah. Uh-oh. Well, this don't look good. Either they're out of postcards or all the scenery around here is invisible. It's one object left. I got a cheese loaf. Nobody in their right mind would consider this vile substance a snack. Am I in my right mind? I don't know. Huh. Yum. Cured by the absence of crackers, you eat the cheese loaf with your bare hands. In the end, you are unclean both inside and out. I got improved loafing. All right, cool. All right, cool. It's weird that the cash register is pointed towards the front of the store. Mine. Ooh. There's some meat in there. Hope that's good. Baseball bat. Nice. Is this cola? Oil cans? No. Plus, well, sign says employee only. Are you an employee? I mean, not really. Well, since the place is out of business, it probably wouldn't hurt for you to go back there, I guess. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. That's very nice. So, broken radio can still be considered nice. This is a pretty nice radio. Desk. Uh, four doors contain nothing but old receipts. Fifth one is locked. Interesting. Axle grease. Hmm. Oh. Hello. Weird machine. I don't have any mysticality. Control lift. Stand clear of lift before operating. Steve. Okay. Big tool chest. Already stolen. Fuse box has advertised as a box containing one fuse. However, the fuse is broken, which is probably not intended. You should keep an eye out for a replacement. It must be somewhere around here. Well, I guess probably on the shelf of weirdos things. A oh, fuse. Come on. I got a fuse. Well, this is easy. This is really easy. So easy, I should probably save. How do I save again? I don't even remember. That nah, can't be done. Uh, review. Okay. I probably needed to do that before I did this. I don't know what this weird machine is, and I'll never figure it out. Maybe if I drink coffee. What's my mysticality? Can I get some quick wit? I really need some quick wit right about now. Pour it in your can. There's a big glass. <laughs> There's a big glass. <laughs> That's what I get for reading that one backwards. <laughs> Convenient. Ah. Ah. Okay, well, is that is that not going to do it for me? I need more. I thought that would have been it. Man, I was so ready. All right. Finnegan's optional boxing gym. You don't have to fight if you don't want to. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I'm glad I don't have to be pressured. Good to know it's not compulsory. Yeah. Oh, hi. Um, hello. A miserable looking hitchhiker is standing in the rain, listlessly sticking out her thumb. Hi there. Her head turns very slowly and her eyes don't quite meet yours. Can you give me a lift? I need to get to Albany. Sorry, I'm going the other way. Oh. Also, I don't have a car. Oh. What's your name? I'm Mark. Lydia. Nice to meet you, Lydia. Although I admit, the circumstances aren't great. Uh, how about this? <laughs> how about this rain, huh? Oh, it's good rain! Lydia looks very slightly surprised and glances around slowly. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, sure is. What a night to be stuck out on the road, right? I hadn't noticed. I get the feeling you aren't much of a noticer. Well, anyway. What's in Albany? Family? Nah, I just want to go somewhere new. Albany isn't new, though. It's one of the oldest cities in the country. Ha ha ha! All right, that's fair. Um, do you read any books? I read The Invisible Man. It was really good. Ah, oh, H.G. Wells is great. Have you read his new one? The War in the Air? I didn't care for it. The one I'm thinking of is Mr. Something on Something Island. I forget the name. His early works are best, like The Time Machine. I love that one. I'm glad we were able to find something we could connect on. Uh, good movies? Dr. Jekyll Mickelin. Uh, Dr. Jekyll Mickle Hyde. Blah, blah. Mr. Hyde at the Nickelodeon. Blah. Oh, classic. Very scary. Have you seen The Cameraman? Sherlock Jr.? All right. Yeah, you know where I can get some gas? The bus I was uh, on ran out. The driver sent me this fine one. Bus. Trying to get to Ocean City? Never been there. All right. Um. Mmm. 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 Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ah. Mm. Okay, bye, good luck. This field is extremely corny. <laughs> hey, uh, I ain't want to be unfriendly, but this is a private residence you just barged into. Oh, geez, sorry, everything's so desolate outside, I just assumed it was abandoned. Well, come morning, you'll be right, so you might as well get out of the rain for a spell, huh? Thanks, I'm Mark E. Plyer. I'm Elias. Make yourself at home. Gears, tears, and bear, be, beer, beer, beers. <laughs> is that beers? You got beers over there? Is this beers? Uh, what's with the beers? 
Oh, no, they're canned pears. I had a little fun writing the labels is all. You want a can? Thanks. Mysticality. I need that. What's, uh, what's this weird thing? It's a duck call. What's it for? It's for calling ducks. Oh, fun. It used to be. Don't work anymore. On account of being haunted. <laughs> what? Uh, not haunted exactly. A bunch of spiders got in there. And now it sounds all scary when you blow it. <laughs> I see if you want it, it's yours. You, t you gingerly take the duck. I'll try very hard not to think about spiders. <laughs> I guess that would make it uh, the equivalent of haunted, yes. What spiders? What's- oh, what spiders? Good job. Oh, thanks. Uh, can I... Reduces an enemy's mis muscle, mysticality, and moxie when you honk at them. Well, I'm glad I have that equipped. Uh, what about the gears? My daughter Simone left those when she went off to school. Figured that I should keep them for her. That makes sense. Tears? Are these boxes of tears? Or tears? Don't be ridiculous. You can't put neither of them in a box. That don't make any kind of sense. <laughs> uh, you're right. You're right. But, oh. I didn't mean to go out back. Oh, wait, let me back in. Let me back in. Good God, I'm not ready for that. Can I use your bathroom? Sure, how'd you know that door was a bathroom, though? I always had a knack for knowing which doors lead to bathrooms is all. Well, good for you, I guess. Well, thanks. Flush. You flush Chekhov's toilet, hoping it won't come back to haunt you later. Why would it... Why would... Why would that come back to haunt me? Tell me why that would come back to haunt me. Why... Why would that come back to haunt me? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna gaze into the mirror. Hi, Mark! Hey there, good looking. Oh, what's wrong? <laughs> Why I uh, Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> you remember something really embarrassing you did a couple years ago. Oh. <laughs> I'll just assume this looks good. Ah, there you are. Hey there, good looking. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Wonder if that change does that change my expression like as I'm going around? Oh, oh, I'm <laughs> no, I gotta go back to normal. Who's smiling here? There we go, good stuff. Well, let me check out what the uh, this one leads to. Where's this door lead to? Spare bedroom, ain't used it in forever. I don't even bother opening the door since the dust devil got in there. Feel free to help yourself, though. I doubt you'll find much use. Dust devil. Yeah, those critters are real nuisance around here. They're attracted to beds that ain't been cleaned properly. And since I lost my broom back in 26, it's been a real, what Simone call it, a nutrient-rich environment. Hornery little beast, real territorial. Hmm, interesting. Ah. Shout out, shoot out at old, old, old Owl Arroyo. Oh. Betrayal at Six Gun Creek. Duel at Horse Thief Trail. Riders of the West. Oh. The handgun's tail! Oh, that's pretty good. I'll read that. Wow. Oh. Pretty boring. I don't have mysticality. Where's my mysticality? Meat. All right. Mine now, I guess. Dust Devil's really kicking up some dickens under there. All right, you kick up my dickens. Are you sure? Chekhov said these things are pretty dangerous. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, God. Oh. Ow, why? Oh, God. I'm gonna honk at you. You better watch it. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna honk at you. This is what I got. I'm trying not to think of the spiders. I'm probably gonna die. Yep. Wham! Oh, I'm dead. Ow. Well. I'm dead. Should have listened to Cheka, I guess so. You know what? You're right about that. Well, that was something, but uh, alas, I'm, uh, did, I didn't make it. Can I talk to you? All right. Why are you leaving? Well, my daughter went off to college, so there's nothing keeping me here. I never particularly cared for farming anyhow. Just kind of fell into it, you know? So I reckoned I'd take the opportunity to retire and travel a bit. See what kind of trouble I can get up to. So what's your story? What are you doing out on night like this? I got a letter from my Uncle Murray. Sounded urgent, so I hopped on a bus to Ocean City. I ain't sure how to tell you this, but you got a ways to go yet. Yeah, the bus ran out of gas, so the driver sent me to scavenge for some more. I got you. Well, I think there's an old gas can in the barn out back. You're welcome to it. I gotta warn you, though. You'll have to fight my daughter for it. 
What? Well, technically, I should say my daughter's a monster. My daughter's monster. What? It's a thing my daughter Simone built. What? <laughs> See, my kid's a real technical whiz. She built an auto ominous robo traption to help with plowing and harvesting and the like. Worked real nice, too. Problem is, after she left it, it blew a what's it tube and got violent. I'm pretty sure good with machinery when it comes down to these newfangled electrics. I might as well be a dog trying to read Plato. So I locked the barn. Ah, I see. You're welcome to try your hand against it if you mind to, but please be careful. It's got a lot of sharp bits on it. Uh, that, uh, was this a gun hanging out to dry? There's nothing on the clothesline except a pair of socks and an old gun. Take the gun and leave the socks. They don't look safe. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that, probably. Socks just keep getting wetter. Someone's shooting over here. Hello? <laughs> the scarecrow's a bit more intimidating than usual. <laughs> the crows around here must be real aggressive. <laughs> That's a scary scarecrow. I'm not scared of you, though. You better watch it. A shoot crow. <laughs> God, you intend to do how much damage to me? Oh my god. All right. Hiya! Honk! Take that! That's what you get. And then I'm gonna thwack ya. There we go. I thwacked you good. Don't shoot me. Ow. Thanks, bird. Using a skill costs an action point. You will. Your turn will not end until you make a basic attack. All right. Take that. That was nice. Ow, man, the gun really, really does a difference. I hope this hits. All right, game over, crow. There you go. I did it. I feel great about myself. I just remembered that I flushed the toilet and it might come back to haunt me. Why would it do that? The old tractor, there's an old rag shoved in where the gas cap should be. Pull the rag out, sniff the tank. Smells like there's a little gas in there. All right. Dip the rag and soak it all up, then wring it out in my can. I don't know if that's the best one. That tractor is the right most interesting thing in this part of the country. All right, duly noted. You leave the doors open. Leave the key in the lock in case he wants to lock it up. All right. Oh, what's nice in here? I thought it'd be boss fight immediately. I saw that. God, I got no stats. Ooh. This must be the farmer's daughter's fishing's rod. <laughs> She won't miss it, you assume. I got a fishing rod. Oh, hell yeah. What do I do with that? Muscle plus one. This is a fishing rod used for fishing and definitely not for fighting. Well, I'm too stupid to understand what that means, so I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna fight with that fishing rod. Oh, I'll test my fishing rod. I'm not sure how this works, but it's barely working. You didn't catch anything, but it was good practice. I guess you're right. Huh. You can clue that this machine for turning hay, hay bales is loose into loose hay. Wait. All right. Can I? Oh, you're not going to get past this thing without destroying it. Well, I'll destroy it then. Maybe not with a... I'll do it with a fishing rod. All right. You're done for, I think. Well, you only have four. Hey, right, you're basically nothing. I'm going to honk at you anyway. <laughs> I'm going to thwack you. <laughs> oh, wow. That works out pretty good. Ow. Well, I guess this is all we need. Take that. And that. That's pretty good. You've got enough XP now to learn a skill. Open the character sheet via the icon of the right or hit C. Rest in parts. Uh, workbench for welding. Search it. Mostly tools you don't understand, but you do find some gloves. I got hot armor! Gas. You'd go up there if it weren't for your hay fever, and you're falling out of lost fever. <laughs> yeah, I thought I could level up. Can't I? Oh, I can. Okay. I could level up Moxie and wrench open this thing, but I kind of have a habit of going for strength in games. Oh, wait. Moxie isn't strength. Wait. Is it muscle? Muscle. Ah. That would have been a mistake. Well, I don't have enough to get mu muscle, and I don't think I have any food that could boost my muscle. What is woo? This option is haunt. <laughs> what the? 
hell? How long is it there? Arachnophobia, arachnophilia, you will encounter so many spiders. I guess I should equip this. It is moxie based. And I am moxied right now. Fine. Maybe I could kill that devil now. Hey, I, di I did the thing. Scarecrow? I had to beat up your scarecrow, sorry. I was leaving it behind anyhow. Why'd you go and do a thing like that for? It shot at me! With a gun! Oh, right. Yeah, it's perfectly reasonable then. Uh, I'll try it. Let's see what happens. Ah, the vicious stabbing kind of hoits. That, it really hoits. I don't even know if this is going to do anything. I could try to... Take that. And that. Uh oh. And I'm dead. Okay, so that don't work. Even though I... Oh, the hot damage. Gloves. Gloves. I have them equipped. It doesn't matter. All right, so I, I'm just not ready for that. Well, I got the gas. I guess I get out of here unless... It, whoa, hey, buddy. Oh, no. I am. I am helping it. Oh, there you go, buddy. Oh. Enjoy Blue Cola, the honorable choice. An old billboard from before the war. Where you going, buddy? Did you go back behind the house? Buddy? Did you go behind the house, buddy? I thought I saw him go behind the house. Oh. Nothing else except sit on it and pretend to be a farmer? Yeah, I'll do that. I hope I have time to reap some, some Molina before it's time to milk the donkeys. <laughs> Keep pretend. Gotta milk the steers before sunup. I'm gonna plant the spelt and then rake the spelt. <laughs> Time to dust my millet. Man, even pretending to farm is hard work. Oh no, I have to plant the bulls. <laughs> no, I meant to say I have to shear them. Or walk the chicken. Uh, some melina. Fertilize some fields. Uh, we plow my sorghum. <laughs> to reap the goats. Alright, goodbye. Well, I got some XP, which is just more than I thought would happen in this occurrence. Well... Thanks so much for whatever the hell you did for me, which was apparently everything. God, for being a stranger. Everything's fine. What's this? Oh, that's Simone's room. Hopefully she ain't left anything important there because I plum forgot how to work that crazy lock. Well, nah, I guess I'm never gonna know. Unless I can get through the wall. Hmm. Oh, blue, oh. What's that about? Hmm? What's, it, what's all this about? If only I had like a Krober. Hmm. Well, anyway. What's over? Hey, what in the hell is this? Topeka. Hi. Hello. Wait. An open fire in an enclosed space. Classic. Hey, there's something in there. Give. If only. <laughs> if only I. There it is. There it is! I got a Krober! Hi. Don't you hit me. Hi there. I'm Owie. Pleased to meet ya. Well, the way I see it, this whole country's my home, so everybody's my neighbor. Aw, oh, that's nice. Either that or they're all trespassers who better get off my property. Ha! <laughs> I'm joking. Care for some jerky? What kind? Clam! It's a local delicacy. Yeah, I'll have some. I'll get clam jerky. That's nice. It's always nice to gift from a kindly stranger, but it's especially nice when that gift is dried flesh. Yes, it is. Where are you from? Originally, I'm from Hawaii. Me too! But I got bored of gorgeous tropical beaches and decided to hit the rails. You rode the rails from Hawaii? Yep, real challenging trip for the first time hobo, <laughs> but I made it through all right. You ever gonna go back? You only got one track there, so it's a one-way trip. I might head back for a visit once they've built a second one, though. Huh. All right, thank you. Let's see in your bag. Oh, that ain't mine. That's been here since before I arrived myself. No one's been able to work out how to open it. If you can figure out the trick, you're welcome to it. Appears to be latched shut with one of those puzzles made out of bent na nails and steel wire. How oh, it wasn't just harmonicking Dixie. I'll leave it alone for now. Hey, gas. I already have gas. I've got a... <laughs> you pour the gas into your own can and hide the empty beside some garbage. 133% full can. Oh. Shiny! Whoa! And make everyone think you attended SIT or mug someone that did. I love that. The Seaside Institute of Technology. My favorite. Well, I could do. Well, let me, let me, before I do that, let me go left and see if there's anything else. 
Heard a lot of nice things about Topeka, but it not 1,200 miles worth of nice things. Let me go see because I believe that that floorboard is screaming for this crowbar that I have. Crowbar. Some kind of cellar here. Ah, interesting. Decades old bacon grease. Interesting. Make a crude ladder. Oh, I did that. Jars of food are revolting, but on the bright side, all but three of them are broken. I'll take the unbroken ones. Thank you. Hey, what's up, spiders? You can't tell if these spiders are fighting or flirting. Well, I got a fishing rod. So, we'll find out. No! Well, I'm poisoned. Ow. Well, that's hardly nice. Okay, so, you don't have a lot of health. But it would have been a lot better if I could have actually... Killed you. Take that, and one of these! That's not quite enough. I'm really poisoned. Oh, don't do it. Ah! Ah, yes. Shrug? Oh. Well... I have somewhere south of two spiders worth of fight in me. I, you know, you're kind of... Shut up. Shut up! Yep, I can't fight those guys. Oh. I don't have that kind of muscle, but I could have that kind of muscle. Do I really want this to be my skill, though? If I had this plus one more muscle, I could technically... I could technically open that other thing, too. I'm gonna eat this. I know I'm getting rid of my moxie. I don't think I'm gonna need it for anything else. Was it my- Oh, this needed three moxie. Mm. This might be the last thing that needs moxie, so if I technically leveled up with this, then switched and ate the clam jerky, I might be fine. I might be okay. Let's go moxie. Yeah, let's do it. Nice. So I should be able to open this. I remember there was something locked. I remember. I remember. So I'm gonna keep my moxie for now. I'm gonna switch to muscle eventually, and then hopefully I get enough experience to level up again and do muscle. What? Weird plaque where Lydia was standing. Historic site. At this exact spot on the 13th of October 1908, the state's first mass-produced automobile, a Ford Model T purchased by Hiramo Crullins, accidentally struck and killed the state's first hitchhiker, Lydia Barnsley. So apparently that woman you talked to a few minutes ago has been dead for exactly 20 years. Good swell. Everything about this is great, and you aren't re regretting this trip. <laughs> Wasn't there a desk here? Ah, uh, unlock it. Oh! Gas pump hose! Whoa! The little silver key falls into the hole in the floor and disappears. All right, I got a gas pump hose though. Maybe I'll use it for the gas pumps. Oh. Oh. Of water instead of gas, can I fish in it? <laughs> I don't know, can I? You should have known there weren't any fish in there. You can see in the entire thing. <laughs> Why did I? How can I fish in it? Oh, I get the hose. <laughs> well, I got even more gas now. So technically, I could go, but I'm not gonna. So that was all that was over there. Tell them about the- Oh, I found a ring! Found this old class ring. Hey, a 17 SIT. I've got one of these in faux emerald, but not faux sapphire. These are the ones they gave to junior varsity pig skinners. Had a little enchantment on them, so the kids wouldn't get quite so many concussions. Is it worth anything? Not a jeweler. Collector give you 30 meat. Let me think about it. Because what would this give me? What does it give me? It doesn't give me anything. Should I sell it? What if it's important? I haven't seen anything yet that needs- Money. And if it's got an enchantment on it, what if someone knows that I went to SIT? Alright, I think I'm gonna switch it over. I'm gonna eat the clam jerky. Yeah, I don't need the loafing. Okay, opening. That was an extremely heavy door. Ah, what in the world is that? There's a carving on the trunk. It says, How he loves playing the harmonica. Oh. Oh! Placed a sheet of filthy linoleum in an effort to lend legitimacy to this outdoor kitchen. Ah, stew is beyond salvaging. All right, I'll get the label. Ladle. 
No wonder the stew's so messed up. It's not a ladle, it's a spatula. All right. I mean, that's magical? How? It, I'm not going to ask any questions. I, I don't need to know about that. Open. Mason jar full of gas. <laughs> oh. Good. Anyway, I'm going to fight you. Uh-oh, it's a railroad bull. Although railroad minotaur would probably be more accurate. I'm going to fight you. Get ready to get honked. Take this. That's what you get. Hiya. <laughs> oh god, no, please. Oh, that was hardly anything. Take that. Well, this would be easy. Yeah. Easy. Grady the Wren grows stronger. I didn't even know Grady was in trouble. What is this? Nine uh nineteen eleven Ford milk crate for wheels. That model never really seemed to take off. Oh gas! I have so much gas now. Why do I have so much gas? I did it. Uh, I dealt with the railroad bull for you. You did? That's a real service to the hobo community. I ain't got nothing to offer you as a reward, but I surely won't forget this. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay, so I did everything I needed to there. I technically don't have enough muscle to go up. I don't have enough XP. Unless I were to try to kill either the devil or the spiders. I guess I could try to kill the spiders again. There might be a way. There might be a way. If I were to be able if I was able to kill one of them, if they if they didn't poison me right away, that's the problem, right? They poison me right away. Ow. And then I don't have any other turn. But if I were if this ah, I feel like that should do more damage. I should have attacked him when I had more moxie. I should have done the gun with more moxie and that might have been able- If I had three moxie at the time, it probably would have been able to kill them in one hit. But as it stands, I just die immediately because of that. And then I could be able to kill the other one in one hit. Hmm. I think I goofed it. But there might be a way for me to kill the- the dirt devil here. Maybe. Hmm. Bleed. Ow. That hurt a lot. It's got 10 HP though. Damn, if only I had just like a little, uh, if, I don't, if I only didn't switch out my moxie, it, it would have been fine. There's gotta be something else I can, I can attack or kill or something like that. Oh, even here I'm like close, but I'm, I didn't get it. God. Oh, if only I'd have done another perk! Oh, man, I bet I bet there's another perk that would, like, get Moxie or something like that. Oh, boy, the turtle! Oh, turtle seems to be heading to- oh, it might be there. Oh, what do you want to name it? Well, of course I want to name it Turt! Turt! Turt, Turt, the turtle! Oh! Ooh, heals me. Hmm. Well, there's something there. Maybe that's all the difference I needed. Maybe that's exactly what I was hoping for. Hey, will this make any difference? Ow. Oh. There's no one injured? Well, there was about to be. Bert, please. Okay, I wonder. Ow. That's pl I'm dead. But that was plus one. That was plus one. Pretty, pretty okay. I know I have these, these items here, these gross vegetables, right? So technically speaking, I can use one of them, but I'm not sure if I can actually win. So with four bleeding, I go down to six. If I throw this, it reduces their his muscle by one probably would do like two damage i'm down to six i get healed if one I get hit two i go down to five or uh i go to six if he reduces his damage done by two i go down to five i technically have three rounds to do damage i it might work it it might work because i have four bleeding right now and i'm not damaged so what i need to do is if i throw this doesn't take 
AP, I heave this at you. One damage. Okay. This could work. No, I only get two turns. Oh, I still need the extra thing of mysticality because I don't have... Ah, because that takes it down to two. And this takes it down by two to six. Because I'll survive this. But I won't survive the next one. Right. God damn it. Okay, the only way I can win kind of also removes the ability for me to do anything later, because uh, it would be gone anyway. But at this point, I don't really care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I shouldn't have juggled the food like this, but what it does do is because this is a better weapon. I equip that. This should allow me to kill it if I do enough damage to kill it in two turns, which I should, because this will do three damage. So I heave this. I throw this. I flip this, yeah, and then wouldn't you know it, Baba da Booey, wham, bam, I'm alive. You're gonna be dead in the next one, cause I flip you. I I do that, and then I'm gonna flip you. Flip, done. I win. Shockingly, I win, and that's enough to get me another level. I'll do mysticality because I can't get muscle anymore to get. The three to open the thing, but there was still one more thing to open the three, so I'm doing mysticality. Yes. So let's go open the other thing and then maybe try to take the spiders. But I don't think I can win against the spiders no matter what. But hey, that's pretty good. I'm doing. I know you don't care because you're like, where's the labs? Okay. Helco portable gasoline. It's a machine for generating portable gasoline. Well, I got even more gasoline. <laughs> I don't even know what is, what's the point of having 266% gasoline. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see if I can beat the spiders. I don't think I can, but I could kill them in one go. I could kill one of them in one turn. Anyway, yeah, I think so. Ow! So I do that, and then I do four damage. Those are pretty good. So long as you don't. Super poison me. Yeah! And you're dead. Sure seems like a gun, spatula, but whatever. Five poison? Five? I think I still should survive this. Ooh, just barely! You're done now! You're done. Flip, get flipped. Wow. Flipped into forever. Okay, well, I did that. I don't know why I did that, but I did that. A little extra XP, I guess. All right, thank you very much. I did it. I killed the dust devil. Well, thank you. Of course, a bit late for my purposes, but I imagine the next occupants will be grateful. It was a snap, I think. I just have this ring, and I kind of want to hold on to it because I'm greedy like that. And I can't open that door anyway because it's locked, so I guess I'm done here. I guess I just take my ass over to the bus and give off the 266% gas. I don't know why. I imagine there's got to be, like, one more gas that's probably in that cabinet that I would have... Needed to unlock with the muscle, but I juggled it wrong and eh, it happens. It happens. All right, hey, bud, I got your gas. Hey, my gas can. Wow, this can doesn't usually hold that much gas. Not sure how you did it, but whatever. Are you ready to hit the road? Yeah, I guess. Let's get out of here. I'm sure there's something I missed, but it's too late. All right, you climb back on the bus and return to your seat, and soon you're dozing off to the sound of rain spattering on the window beside you. Unfortunately, it's barely an approximation of sleep. The sort of sleep you slip into so gradually you don't even know you're asleep until something wakes you up. Long Street! And you realize that your meandering thoughts of the past few minutes have been utterly strange shadow, shadowy trendrills of whispering ideas. Hey kid, this is your stop, right? That are now totally forgotten. All ashore, what's going ashore? Thanks for traveling, Willis Buttco. But Busco. Cola Wars Surplus? What? 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 Cola Wars? I like your hat. Nice weather! He smiles, looks up, and lets the rain splash his face. Suits me just fine. A wise man once said, The rain falls on poor and rich men alike. Was that before umbrellas were invented? My name's Gus, by the way. I'm Mark. Pleased to meet you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a couple of meat to spare, would you? I gotcha. Don't worry, Gus. 
Old Gus won't forget about your kindness, you bet. Take her easy, Gus. All right. Well, we made it to the town. What's in Coal of Wars? It's closed for the night? Oh, Murray's Antiques. What? Oh, cheap clothes. My stench armor. I don't know what that means. Well, anyway, we're about to enter Murray's Antiques. Because that's the next stage. But that'll have to wait until the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching! I can't wait to get into Shadows of Loathing. Made me laugh a lot already. And I'm sure there are more laughs in store. So thank you. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!